Hello, today I'm having a glass of wine and we're going to, or I'm going to, show to you why. Um, yeah, I'm a bit irritated by this world, so I'm going to irritate it back. So I'm going to show show everyone um, a, lit a little secret about bismuth. I have been talking about bismuth a lot because its alchemical symbol is the Ouroboros. The Ouroboros consumes the sun, as I said. And the sun is gold. And in a way, Bitcoin is consuming gold because it takes away the price action from gold so that the price of gold doesn't really i mean it uh, precious precious metals could have gone up a long time ago um so what i'm doing in this video is kind of a mix of logics symbolism and um Patterns and uh, absurdity, and I think that's a good combination. I'm going to show to you why bismuth is probably a good investment for the future, and by that I mean the physical bismuth. And uh, you can probably understand it for yourself that. Bismuth is uh, is valuable since uh, uh, since it's uh, it starts with Bi, just like Bitcoin. It has eighty three protons, and um, Bitcoin one of the sim uh, the symbols for Bitcoin in HTML is. Uh, and is this uh, you can see it uh, you can see it on the screen uh, i don't know how to say it uh, <laughs> but it's 8383 so it's the same as uh, the number of proto protons in bismuth there's a lot of numerology uh, about bismuth um, that i didn't that i'm not going to show because i'm a bit lazy I'm just going to show to you that there is a pattern and I'm going to just con convince about that. You can see here, for example, that uh, so the HTML symbol is 8383, as you can see on this image. Uh, but um, uh, so, um, yeah, and the alchemical symbol is the Ouroboros. Which is the same as I said. It's, you know, uh, Elon Musk. He he bought he he endorsed Bitcoin. And in my opinion, the reason why Elon Musk spe specifically did it is because he is the creator of the Hyperloop. It's called, and this is a levitating train. As you can see on the bottom right corner. And uh, I think we will have a levitation in the future. I think bismuth will be used for that because bismuth is the is the element that has the highest diamagnetic property. Diamagnetic means that it uh, it doesn't like mag magnetic magnetic fields, so it will repel magnetic fields the most of any of the elements. And um, as you can see in the numerology at the bottom, so uh, the reason why why um, Elon Musk bought Bitcoin is probably because. He's doing um, levitation technology with his Hyperloop and bismuth is used for levitation. It's one of the 
uses of it. There are also other uses. As I said, this video is not about just absurdity, it's about logic also. So, um, during World War One and II, uh, there was so much use of um, lead and also bismuth. The reason for that is because bismuth can be used in bullets. So if there's... I'm going to explain to you that whatever happens in the future, bismuth will be uh, valuable. And I'm not a financial advisor, I'm just this crazy guy that... Uh, so you shouldn't listen to me, but I, I, I'm just going to explain it and... Uh, I'm also going to show that it's like crap cheap, it's, it costs nothing. And um, just like uh, just like uh, Bitcoin kind of levitated in its price, uh, maybe... I mean, th there is a lot of connections between Bismuth and Bitcoin. You can see also in the numerology at the bottom that Bismuth is one digit away from Satoshi. Satoshi is the creator of bis Bitcoin. And it's a way to measure bitcoins. You can call one bitcoin, you can call it one satoshi. Uh, so it's one digit away in English ordinal, full reduction, reverse ordinal, reverse full reduction. And it's the, exactly the same in duality. The reason why I think that bismuth equals to duality is because... The Ouroboros is kind of Satan, and Satan likes duality. He wants uh, Satan wants to make um, make it seem like there is a duality when it's actually a parasite, as I'm talked I talked about earlier. Uh, yeah, I'm crazy, right? No, I'm just I'm never mind that. Okay, I'm I'm not crazy. I'm I just see the patterns uh, and. Uh, Nothing can be done about that. Uh, so we have the duality here also. I'm just quickly going to show a chart of the price or just explain the price so that you can understand how how cheap it is. Okay. The reason, first of all, the reason why it's so cheap, it's weird, but um, just going to show it. So this is a chart of the rarity of the elements uh, in the earth crust. And uh, mm, you can see that bismuth is at the same level as, as silver. Silver is also said to be um, very undervalued. I, I really like like it, but you can see uh, the, the price comparison here that the reason why bismuth is so incredibly cheap is because like no one is buying it. It's it's so it's so like I mean, it's a it's a weird metal. And um, a good thing about it is that it doesn't corrode. It doesn't it's 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 basically a precious metals. It's even more precious than silver because it you will need a stronger acid to to uh, to break it down uh, i think even stronger than you need for for um uh, for um let's say for uh, for gold i think and bismuth is actually more rare than palladium okay do you understand how how cheap the price it is and besides that if you look on the um, platinum metals like palladium and platina they are they are mined not in many places but they are mined in like south africa russia and china but the thing about bismuth is that it's only mined in china um, so if if there, I'm just going to explain like whatever happens. It, it in my opinion it will be valuable, and uh, 
so let's take the different scenarios. Um, so we have basically three scenarios of the future. We have, first of all, we have war. Uh, we have, um, and in that case, we have the bullets that will be uh, used with uh, bismuth because uh, lead is poisonous and uh, yeah, uh, it was used a lot during World War. As I said, it, since it was used a lot during World War Two and one, and one, I think it's going to be used again if we have another war. Then we have um, regulations. So now the possible future is that we continue this environmental uh, uh, environmental focus. Uh, and uh, that would mean that um, that um, they would argue that we have to face out lead in everything, and the main uses of lead is batteries. It's like I think it's like eighty percent of the lead use is in batteries. Mm. And. Uh, the thing about the thing about um, bismuth is that bismuth can basically nowadays basically <laughs> nowadays bismuth is only mined as a res residual product when mining lead so um lead let's see um so if if they uh, when they argue for when and where we stop we're going to stop with lead and we're going to increase the the um, use of um, bismuth instead they're going to shoot themselves in the foot or whatever you call it because they're not going to be able to mine bismuth because of the lack of lead okay so that scenario is covered. Then another scenario is that we enter some kind of future futuristic world and that means that we will have levitation. It's going to come um, at some time, I think. And, uh, um, and since bismuth has the highest levitation value, it's going to be useful for this. And you can also see the symbology that I'm showing here. It's obvious. Um, what more? Hmm. Um, yeah, so also nowadays a, a major use of bismuth is for as a medicine for, for um, uh, the diarrhea, I think. Diarrhea is the worst sickness the world has at this time. Uh, and uh, so these stomach problems, the one, uh, the medicine for it contains bismuth. Okay, so it's a medicine also. So the reason for this incredibly cheap price is that, I mean, there are no one kind of buying it strategic, strategic, <laughs> strategically, and. Um, yeah, and there is no one like me talking about it so far. Now I am talking about it because I'm noticing it from many perspectives. You know that I have been talking about this. This uh, um, it, it ties into many things that I talk about. If you just wait a minute, I'm going to run away and get a little example of this... Uh, metal and um, I'll be back in I'll be back okay so see you in a little while uh, and uh, stay there and I'm going to show you it okay
Oh, it's so heavy. So, this is... Oh my god. Here, here it is. So it's it's broken apart because it's quite brittle, and the fact that so this is like uh, fifteen kilograms minus one and a half kilos maybe. Uh, so um, you can only you can basically only buy them from China, and uh, uh, because no one else makes them. And if there's a war, there's definitely going to be a uh, how do you say rare earth metal war also this economical warfare and uh, yeah i'm just saying that whatever happens it will be valuable because no one is talking about it and uh let's see and the fact of this price difference and all of this symbology and also no numerology that i haven't been talking about mm. Yeah, so if you were to store this, it will not corrode because it's um, it's very it's as I said it 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 uh, it should be amongst the precious metals because uh, if you look on the definition of a pre precious metal, it has this. Uh, so as I said, like this cost like not much, this heavy thing, right? And it's really weird because it's as rare as silver, which means that you, um, it's like uh, insane. Like, w w what's going on here? Is there a. So, silver was like, what was it? Four times seven, it's 28, 28 times uh, more more uh, expensive but uh, this is also the future in my opinion hmm that's that sounds weird that it's the future you can you can see that bismuth equals to du duality also here in the num 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 uh, numerology maybe I, I talked about that already so that's uh, that's because uh, it's weird, right? It's exactly the same as duality. And it's also diamagnetism, the strongest one, right? It's weird. You see, um, uh, the world is not logic. It is weird, okay? Just get it. Uh, so, yeah. Um, this cost like nothing at all and there are no from what I know there are like no stackers of it uh, so the price is probably cheap and I'm just showing this because yeah I I don't know um, for fun or something uh, I mean, uh, it's interesting that they have the same, it's really crazy that they have 83, 83, 83, right? And uh, it was something like 8, 8, uh, what was it? I can look in my notes here, I can read something more. Uh, otherwise, you can just turn this off. Let's see if I find my notes of this uh, stuff yeah here it is um, so um, diamagnetism in bismuth was discovered about um, 888,888 uh, 888 days ago um, and the person that discovered bismuth so this was diamagnetism was discovered like there is this eight uh, numerology to to the to the day that it was discovered the diamagnetism property and the person that discovered bismuth his name is georgius agricola and 
he uh, since the day that he died if you compare it to the first day of 2021 i think so at least it's it was uh, some time ago i calculated on this it's seven uh, 170 thousand days exactly so there are four zeros at the end since he died this person and he discovered bismuth as i said um yeah there's much more i i i seriously i don't feel like explaining all of this but um as i said really important to know about is that they have no good way of producing it and this is really important like there could be so already now there have been so many laws about uh about lead that it's bad you know and it's quite obvious you can see this in the if you so if you have like medical uh, medicines the if you if you have one medicine that contains uh, lead and another one that contains mercury you you're going to, that's kind of a death uh, how to say it will it will kill you right uh, but separately they won't so uh, it's been proven that lead lowers the iq of the population uh, many times from my hand uh, from um, uh, independent research many different researchers around the world so lead is dangerous and um, maybe at some time we will be forced to stop producing lead in some right now the lead production has been going up around the, in in china specifically and if the lead production goes down um so um it means that the the bismuth production will go down also so this is the problem with the future of levitation we have the best and cheapest levitation material element and it's directly dependent on the mining of lead which means that it will be a bit weird it's like um yeah it, it can it can get really uh, yeah i don't know what to say i'm just saying that there are there are this um, probability of weird things happening because of the fact that lead is poisonous and maybe we will not afford to have a population that is even more dumb in the future so we will um, stop the use of lead because of that um and uh, yeah and even though we stop using lead we will still want some technology which means the levitation you know um yeah there's also this weird connection to levitation and some kind of um, satanic thing i don't know levitas or what it's called uh, i read about it some time ago i forgot about it so i can't find it anymore um, i remember d serda commented a bit about that some time ago uh, yeah, there are some really weird numbers here um, that I still am not mentioning. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to end this video, I think. And uh, let's see. Something more interesting? No. It's basically a lot of sixes everywhere for bismuth. The, the crystal itself... The crystal that is is created when you do a certain process um, they are like shaped like sixes and so are the properties so the diamagnetic property of bismuth is like um, the value of it is 
166 times 10 to the power of minus 6. Um, and um, and bismuth got its name in 1660s and um, in the 1660 and um, there is more uh, bismuth bismuth is slightly um, ra radioactive <laughs> it's it, it's no problem because it is it's like a billion times longer than the year um, than the age of the universe the half time so it's basically not um, researcher didn't researchers didn't even know that it was because it was so uh, how do you say unreactive uh, it has so long half time so it's not even noticeable it's basically a precious metal as i said and it's cheap it's really cheap um also remember yeah i i told you like earlier but i also want to say again um the last element that the sun creates you know the sun has the ouroboros around it which is bismuth <laughs> um so bismuth alchemical symbol is the ouroboros and the last uh, um and and the the Ouroboros circles the sun, and the last element that the sun creates is bismuth. Uh, it's like matrix breakdown stuff. Um, and add on to that that the element of the sun is gold, and Bitcoin is kind of eating up gold in a weird way. Do you understand? The symbology is everywhere. And Bitcoin levitated, and we have Elon Musk and his Hyperloop, which is using levitation technique. Bismuth uh, is used in levitation because it has the highest diamagnetic property, the largest diamagnetic property. And uh, also, it has the same numerology as you can see below. It's like insane. But that's how it is. So, have a good day. Bye-bye.